Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to install Baki's mod on the Steam Deck. Just a quick heads up, this tutorial is specifically for the heroic version of Rocket League, not the Steam version. Before we jump in, I want to give a huge shout out to 17 the Dark Lord for his video on installing Baki's mod on Linux. This video is based on his tutorial. Before we start, I recommend connecting a keyboard and mouse. This will make the whole process a lot easier. First, let's switch over to desktop mode. Once you're there, make sure you have Rocket League installed through the Heroic Launcher. If you don't have Heroic yet, you can grab it from the application browser. Another program we will need is Proton Tricks, which you can also find in the application browser. When installing Rocket League, take note of the installation path because we'll need it later when setting up Baki's mod. Here is my installation path. Next, open your internet browser of choice and search for Baki's mod. I'll also have a link in the description. Once you're on the website, download Baki's mod from the drop down menu. This will place a .zip file in your downloads folder, open it up, and once extracted, you'll find bakismodsetup.exe. Go ahead and run the installer with Proton Tricks. Here, I use the Rocket League option. The Bakis Mod installer will launch. When prompted, set the installation path to the Rocket League folder. If, like me, you can't find your games folder, feel free to place the install path elsewhere. For now, it's in my documents folder. Let's make sure to uncheck the box create desktop icon. Let's click no and uncheck the box launch Bakke's mod. You can go ahead and delete the installer file. We don't need it anymore. Now we need to create a .bat file so Bakke's mod runs properly with Rocket League. Head to the Bakke's mod folder which should be inside our Rocket League installation folder. Right click and select open terminal here. You're going to type nano space run Bakke's mod sd.bat and click enter. Once you get to this page, click Control O and then hit the return key. Double click on run bakismod sd.bat and inside we'll paste a short script that allows bakismod to run alongside Rocket League. Feel free to copy paste the script from the video's description. If your installation path is the same as mine, you should be good to go. If you are typing it by hand, it is crucial that you don't type your path with forward slashes. For this, type with backward slashes because that is how your path is shown on Windows. Below, we will type out our Bacchus mod path, which should be the same as where you installed Bacchus mod. But here, we will write it with forward slashes. The top pathway should lead to your rocketleague.exe file, and the bottom pathway should lead to your bacchusmod.exe file. Once that's set up, open up Heroic, and in your library, go to your Rocket League settings tab. In the advanced menu, there's an option to select an alternative exe to run. Click that and choose the run bacchusmod sd.bat file we just created. Now, whenever you launch Rocket League through Heroic, Bacchus Mod will run automatically. When you launch the game for the first time, Bacchus Mod will ask you to update. Click yes, let it finish, and you might see a message saying mod out of date. That's normal. Just open Bacchus Mod settings, disable safe mode, and a new pop-up will appear asking if you want to inject Bacchus Mod into an unsupported version of Rocket League. Click yes, and that's it. Bacchus Mod is now running on your Steam Deck. To launch the game back in game mode, you will need to add the heroic launcher to your Steam library as a non-Steam game. Once that's done, switch back to game mode, launch Heroic, and start Rocket League. Bacchus Mod will launch simultaneously. If you press the Steam button, you'll see that Bacchus Mod and our .bat file are running in the background. You'll need to disable safe mode and repeat what we did in desktop mode. And that's it! You're all set to play Rocket League on the Steam Deck with Bacchus Mod. I feel like the number one thing people will want to do is install workshop maps, so let me walk you through how to get maps on our Steam Deck. In desktop mode, let's go back to the Bacchus Mod webpage and search Workshop. Since we are not on Windows, we can't automatically install the plugin, so we will download the .zip to our download folder. Don't extract it, but move the .zip file to our Bacchus Mod folder. Let's jump back into Rocket League, launch Bacchus Mod using F2 on our keyboard, and the last tab we can open the plugin manager. Let's click Install by Zip, use the correct path to find the Workshop Loader zip we just downloaded. Once added, we can launch the workshop map loader by pressing F3. Your frame rate will tank. That's normal. You can wait for it to stabilize or click around while it's in this slow state. If I refresh in map loader, I have two maps I have already installed. To add new maps, I click the neighboring tab and search for the map I want. Let's search for Lethemir's Neon Rings map. Click install. 
Now when I refresh, it will show our new custom map, but it cannot be opened because it is not extracted. To extract, we will need to be in desktop mode. If you're doing this in game mode, I recommend downloading all your maps first before switching to desktop mode. That way you can extract them all at once. In desktop mode, let's go to the folder where I saved my maps. I created a mod folder here so that I can easily find and extract my custom maps. Once you extract the files, everything should work as expected. Now when we go back to Rocket League, our new map is playable. In handheld, to get the Bakesmon menu open without a keyboard, I have the F2 function key bound to my L4 button, and the F3 function key bound to my L5 button. By holding the Steam button and using the trackpad, I can navigate the menu with a cursor. If you don't want to set that up yourself, I've uploaded a control layout on Steam called Bakes Mod for Steam Deck that you can download. And now, you're ready. You're all set to play Rocket League on the Steam Deck with Bakes Mod in both handheld and desktop mode. If you want to learn more about playing Rocket League on the Steam Deck, check out my first video where I test whether the Steam Deck and ROG Allies Z1 Extreme can be used as desktop replacements for Rocket League. Once again, huge thanks to 17 the Dark Lord for his Linux tutorial. This video would not have been possible without it. If you have any questions or road bumps, feel free to leave a comment and I'll do my best to help you get unstuck. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.